All right. Uh, thank you guys for joining in and uh, thanks for the people who are joining in virtually as well. So I'm Navindu and uh, without uh, much of an introduction, let's get uh, started with the topic for today. So this is a story. This is my story as a new programmer in January 2020 to being a full-time open source uh, contributor by March 2021. So I, I, I have been programming since I was a teenager, but I never thought about uh, having, having to do programming as a career. So when I decided to actually be a software engineer, uh, I had no idea how to start. Uh, I had uh, I had no idea like uh, how to find jobs. I had no idea like what should I learn. I had no idea about anything. So I was uh, scrolling through YouTube and I found that uh, contributing to open source is a good way to uh, improve your skills. It is a good way to uh, get yourself familiarized with uh, actual software that is being used by people. So, uh, so to contribute to open source, I need to know something, right? But uh, so I started by uh, pushing all all of my source code on GitHub. I started pushing my uh, toy applications, which I was using for uh, to learn to learn stuff. I was pushing everything on GitHub, and eventually, uh, a couple of those projects turned out to be somewhat uh, moderately successful. But uh, I was still I was still unsure about how I can contribute to other open source projects, uh, how I can contribute to like these big open source projects that everybody is using. So I I, I had no idea what to do. So that's when I found out about the Linux Foundation mentorship program. So I was uh, I was uh, thinking uh, which project should I contribute to? Am I does I do I have the skill to contribute to such open source projects? I I was thinking uh, along these lines. And that is when I found out about, about the Linux Foundation's mentorship program. So the LFX mentorship program is, uh, uh, is an open source mentorship program uh, hosted by the Linux Foundation. And the program, what it does is it connects uh, mentees to open source uh, projects and with their mentors. So you can basically contribute to open source projects and uh, you will be assigned a mentor and they will help you contribute to those open source projects. So yeah, so I stumbled right into the LFX mentorship homepage, and it shows a list of projects uh, that are participating in the program. So th there was my answer to my first question, like which project should I contribute to? So all these projects, they they wanted uh, people to contribute to it. They were they 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 were very particular about which what kind of stuff, what kind of contributions they wanted people to make. So. Uh, so yeah, like I found I found this list quite helpful. So uh, at that point of time, I was learning new stuff. I was learning about cloud native stuff. So I was looking through all these uh, projects and seeing uh, which project I can actually contribute to. And uh, uh, as you can see, like it, it shows uh, the required skills, what they are expecting, all sort of things. And then I uh, applied to a couple of these projects, and. Uh, I actually started contributing to making small contributions to some of these projects. So uh, I was a mentee for the Meshery project, which is a cloud native computing foundation project. So uh, I started by making really small contributions, small bug fixes. Then I eventually worked my way up to uh, make bigger contributions. And after uh, a couple of contributions, I was able to apply for the LFX mentorship program and I got accepted as a mentee. So in March 2021, I was uh, an LFX mentee for the Meshery project. And during my time as a mentee, like uh, I learned a lot of stuff. I, it, 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 it doesn't, uh, it wasn't always about uh, learning how to code, but I learned a lot of other stuff as well. like. Uh, So I learned a lot of other stuff as well. Uh, I was speaking at uh, conferences like KubeCon. I was I was talking about my work. I was representing the project uh, in front of the whole community. So without this LFX mentorship pr program, I would have never uh, gotten a chance to uh, discover such projects and be part of such projects. And I was also giving talks at other conferences. So. Uh, 
so oh, all of this happened like uh, after I was part of the LFX mentorship program and I've, after I started contributing the project and uh, like I, I made a lot of code contributions to the project as well. This helped me like learn new skills, learn actual skills that are uh, that are practical and that that can be applied to building real world projects. And I was doing open source stuff uh, or like for for uh, for uh, for the entire day. Like the Linux Foundation uh, mentorship program provided me a stipend, so I didn't have to worry about uh, finding a job. I just I, I, I can just contribute to open source projects, but, but it also was sustainable since I had uh, uh, some sort of an income. So I was a new programmer in January 2022, but 2020, but not anymore. So I was working in open source uh, full time. So right after the program, uh, the the project, uh, the project, the company behind the project, the company who actually initiated the project before it was donated to the foundation they hired me to work on their open source project uh, full time so which was like the dream so it was like a dream come true uh, to to this day like I, when i work in open source i can't believe people actually pay me to do that i might <laughs> I, I would actually do this for free but like <laughs> thank god there are people who are willing to pay me for it so uh, so yeah that that's how i went from uh, open source uh, noob to a full time open source contributor and open source is about paying it forward. So when I was a new, contrib new contributor, I asked a lot of stupid questions. Uh, I, I, I wrote bad code and I, like, I broke stuff in, like, in production all the time. Like the master branch was full of my bugs. So people were uh, helping me out. People didn't complain. They, they didn't get angry at me. They were helping me make better contributions. They were. Uh, yeah, they were helping me uh, uh, a lot. So, so to give it back to the community, what I decided to do was to become a mentor. So, in 2021, I returned back to the program as a mentor. And uh, so, I'm, I'm a mentor of two projects, two uh, uh, CNCF projects. So, uh, coming back to this program as a mentor uh, was a way for me to uh, help 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 the community and give something back to the community and uh, by being a mentor I, I learned also learned a lot uh, maybe more than what I, I did I learned when I was a mentee so I learned a lot of leadership skills I learned to work with a lot of people by by teaching them like by helping them I, I was able to reinforce my knowledge a bit more and this also gave me access to a lot more opportunities with this newly acquired skills, uh, I was getting a lot of job opportunities uh, and speaking opportunities, all sort of things. I also uh, gave talks about contributing to open source, uh, helping people uh, by sharing my experience as an open source contributor, my journey through open source contributions. Uh, I was also writing a lot of uh, blogs uh, and trying to help help more students, more uh, new contributors make contributions to open source. So uh, programs like uh, LFX actually help, uh, the LFX mentorship program actually help uh, by making the open source communities uh, more accessible to people from around the world. Like it, it might seem like, like this is uh, similar to any other internship program. It might seem similar to any sort of other internship programs uh, that uh, tech companies offer, but like uh, uh, from people uh, who are from the parts of the world where they don't have such opportunities, uh, the, these programs can act like the catalyst. They can be the game changer uh, when it comes to getting new opportunities. They can be the, the ladder that the people need to get access to such opportunities. And uh, yeah, like uh, for the, for the, in the last couple of years, I'm seeing a lot more people from uh, very very different backgrounds being part of these programs and these programs are actually helping them to in, uh, level up in their career helping them to gain access to opportunities that they normally would couldn't have and it really encourages me to uh, uh, see that 82 percent of uh, contributors new contributors feel really welcome within open source communities 
but at the same time the 18 percent uh, who are who are feeling unwelcome are are, are, are from disproportionately under underrepresented groups so there are there, there is a definitely uh, a, a bias there is definitely uh, a, a disproportionality between in this uh, in this matrix so uh, there is still a lot for us to do like programs like lfx could actually help uh, uh, settle this uh, this ba this imbalance and make open source more inclusive more uh, more welcoming to uh, people from all over the world regardless of where they are but still 89% uh, of people contributing to open source they feel that uh, they, they are making a positive impact in this world, which I think is what is most important. So people are people are contributing to open source, and they are uh, happy that they are doing it. And that's all I have for today. And if you have questions to me, uh, you can ask them now, or like I'll be hanging out over here. And for the folks tuning in online, like you can reach out to me on Twitter. Thank you. We have a question. I think the mic should work. Uh, it's a very great journey for It's okay. No? It's okay. And yeah, yeah, you're sure, yeah. yeah, just repeat. So okay, okay, sure, sure. Your journey is very good and it's very impressive. So, uh, what's your first uh, programming language? Where you started? Mm, that that should go back to. Uh, basic using QBasic, so print what is your name, <laughs> that sort of stuff. But like, the uh, no, uh, basic language. Basic language. Uh, okay. so then like, uh, the actual language that I learned was uh, probably C++. Okay. Yeah, that. And what's your first programming language on the LFX uh, project? It must be Golang. Go, oh, yeah. So you are still enrolled in some programs? And uh, no, like uh, now I, I work for uh, uh, the Apache API 6 project, which I'm wearing the t-shirt oh, okay. today. So uh, yeah, so I work for a company that uh, that actually is building us uh, some software on top of API 6, but I work on the Apache API 6 project. So you are getting uh, time from the, your work to do this open source project? My work is to work on open source projects. Okay. <laughs> so you are still contributing on the LFX? Uh, I try to be a mentor today, but like uh, I, I stopped working with the CNCF projects. But like I plan to be uh, a mentor for uh, more open source projects, uh, like in the next years. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like because uh, so I actually quit my j so okay. Let me repeat the question. So the question was was being a mentee a full time job for me? So uh, so I I worked in uh, uh, renewable energy, solar panel, that sort of stuff. So I quit that job and I was looking to transition into software engineering. So I didn't have have anything else to do. So I I worked as the LFS men LFS mentee full time. Yeah, that, that's a really good question. So LFX uh, mentorship has two different schemes. You can work either in full time or as part time. So even if you are uh, working professional or even if you are a student, you can uh, like uh, work 20 hours a week or maybe less depending on the project and like how you are interacting with the maintainers. And you can actually work for less and like you can complete the program within six months. So yeah, it is open for all. Like you don't have to be a student. You can even be a working professional and work part time for this. Cool, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. In one project, there is a many people working as a team, or it's like if you're a mentor, you just hire the one mentee and pushing them uh, all the stuff. Uh, so the program, so you can actually uh, specify what project you want the mentees to work on. 
So the LFA, so when you list your project in the LFX uh, portal, you are actually listing it as a as a as a project as a sub project. So maybe you want a new feature in your uh, project, and you can list it there. And the mentees who are participating, they will work on that particular feature. And the goal is to uh, have the mentees working on the project even after their mentorship program. So that is to ensure sustainability. So these mentees will keep contributing to the open source project even after they, their mentorship period ends. And eventually, they, they might transition to be maintainers of the project and like, yeah. they, they will help uh, steward the project in the future. Okay. Are there any questions online or? Okay. So thank you everyone for joining.